Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. If today is your first day, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell whenever I upload a new video so you can be notified. In today's recipe, we are cooking Nigeria Party Jollof Rice that is good to go for guests together, okay guys? All ingredients we need is just fresh tomatoes, fresh berni pepper, hot chili, romano red pepper, and fresh onions, as you can see, purple onions. This is the white ingredients, okay guys? Stay to why I take you along how I prepare this delicious, yummy jello fries. Here we go, a tablespoon of baking soda. I pour into the sink. I'm just washing all the pepper and the onions to get rid of the bacteria. Okay, guys, you want to wash it. You want to get rid of the bacteria. You need a tablespoon of baking soda. Okay, guys, just wash it thoroughly. I'm just chopping into smaller size. Okay, guys, you can keep some for your salad. When the kids come around, they want to eat fresh tomatoes. You can give them. Yeah, I got two purple onions and ginger and garlic, okay? You don't want to be exaggerated with the garlic and ginger because at the end of it, when you cook, you might be feeling the taste. You don't want the taste of the ingredients to come out, but you just want the perfect jollof rice, okay, guys? Here we got bay leaf, as you can see, and the cube mangan, star mangan, no mangan, and nutmeg, okay, guys? That's the two nutmeg. I will be showing you later on how I grate up. This is the onions or uh, we need to stem the meat okay guys this is the nutmeg okay fresh nutmeg we need to have for this recipe for this rice i'm cooking so i will be leaving the description down below here we go our pot i'm just gonna put my turkey and my chicken you can use beef or llama you can use goat ram whatever meat you're comfortable with here we got two onions purple onions too one hot chili half of one ginger half of a ginger and one garlic okay guys we're gonna steam this we're gonna use this to steam our chicken and turkey okay because we want the spices to go inside this is the mangi we need okay guys i don't just want to put the cube mangi i just want to bring it to a powder how i achieve it i just use it i bring it to a powder before i pour that in okay guys as you can see i'm adding a teaspoon of nutmeg the nutmeg is the right ingredients for jello fries guys okay now i'm gonna be putting you can do this optional this is optional you can skip this okay guys it's dry onions if you don't have it, that's fine. If you have it, you add it half tablespoon of it of each dry onions. Okay, guys. Purple onions and white onions. That's what I was adding there. Here we go. Powder mangan. We're gonna be adding half teaspoon of that. That's all we're gonna be adding. Now we're gonna be adding curry and thyme. Okay, guys. Can you see the outcome? Now we're adding the bay leaf as well. Now the bay leaf, we add about five bay leaf into the you need bay leaf. Those are the right ingredients for your jollof rice, guys. Addition of the salt, okay. Here in the UK, you need to add more and more often of the salt before you can get the taste you're looking for. It's not like they back in Africa, the salt, you just put you, you'll be fine. You need to add more when you're cooking here. So I just added my thyme. I'm going to be adding the two of that into it, guys, okay. Yeah, addition of half a tablespoon of the thyme. Now, this is the curry powder I'm using, guys, okay? You can use your choice of your curry powder. I'm going to be repeating this twice of it, okay, guys? Twice of a teaspoon. There we go. Now, I'm going to be stirring it, okay, guys? Oh, my gosh. I don't know where my spatula is going. <laughs> I almost miss it. Okay, guys. Now, you're going to stir everything together to mix thoroughly, okay, guys? No addition of water, just cover it all into steam so the ingredients can go into the chicken and the turkey, okay, guys? Now we'll be steaming this for, for 15 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna be adding the water, okay? I'm just adding boil water for the purpose. I'm using boil water, it's pretty fast so it can get cooked on time. If you add water from the top, it's gonna take time for you to carry on cooking, okay, guys? You just want to cover it to the top of the meat or just eyeball it because you don't need much water. Can you see, guys? Later on, my blender goes spoiled. This is the procedure I'm going to be using. I'm using my smoothie blender. So fortunately, it's the long way. This is the last step. I just want to show you guys. Okay, I'm just carrying on blending it. Okay, as you can see here, yeah, guys. I blend everything. I'm going to put it into the pot. Okay, now I'm adding a salt. Do not alter to skip the salt, please. Even you don't want to add the curry at the time, but don't skip the salt. Whenever you steam it, you're boiling your tomatoes after blending it. Always add salt. It has a long way to go. Okay, guys. If it's for stew or for jollof rice, you need to add the salt to boil it. Now I'm adding Korean powder. Okay, this is my own recipe. Okay, guys. 
follow my step you will end up having a perfect jollof rice okay i added curry and powder and thyme to eat why that is curry and just keep an eye on my meat can you see my turkey i'm trying to put a fork i can see it's ready okay now while i'm doing this to my onions i don't want my meat to get burned then you start seeing the smelling all over so the onions preserve it from the smelling of the meat when you fry it okay guys that's why i just put the onions for the purpose of like if it got burned now put it aside it depends how you want your meat to go guys i fried all my meat you can use the air fryer you can fry it to be soft just like this i'm happy with it like this okay so you don't throw away the oil yeah? you put it aside now you add another addition of oil because you need enough oil for this particular fries okay guys so now i'm adding my purple onions and my tomatoes puree okay guys i'm gonna fry this for him to like get rid of that like is it sour or when it's biting your mouth when you taste the tomatoes so you want to make sure you want to fry this like a couple of 15 to 20 minutes okay guys now we'll be adding my seasoning like i'm adding my time now okay i just add my nutmeg half a teaspoon again i'm adding the nutmeg okay guys this is the right time to add the nutmeg do not alter to add nutmeg later on like af after you must have everything like you forgot to add it you might end up having rule your jollof rice it's not going to come up like they will be tasting something like you know what kind of taste is it tasting add it at this stage you will end up having a perfect jollof rice i added my mangi and adding my dry onions if you don't have it as i said before later on you can skip it okay guys this is optional okay if you have it that's fine add it to it this is my curry powder i'm gonna be adding my curry powder two, tip two teaspoon of that this is my time i'm using so i'm just adding all the season at this stage while i'm frying the tomato puree okay guys i'm just gonna carry on frying it see when i know it's ready 15 20 minutes okay guys because you don't want Okay guys, now we are adding the other tomatoes will be boiling for like 15-20 minutes. This is the right time to add it, addition of this. Just you can see it's not burnt. At this stage, you don't want it to get burnt, okay? We know our particular rice must get burnt, but not at this stage, okay guys? I'm just adding everything to eat. This still is going to be enough, even more than enough, okay guys? You can keep it into the freezer. Whenever you want to make jollof rice, just bring it out, this frozen and pan boil your rice. You know everything is there, okay guys? Because... Everything is going to be coming in. The broth we make later on from the meat. We're going to be adding to it. But now we're going to stir it and let it steam for like 15 minutes. Then we test it. If it's to add the broth to it, the quantity you're going to add to it. Because we have added all the season into the stew. Okay, guys. Now you can see the outcome. Now that is the right time to introduce our broth. So it's like a one cup of broth we make from the meat. Okay. I'm just adding it to it as you can see see testing it everything is fine it's okay okay guys now I cover it i carry on to go and wash my rice i'm using basmati rice okay guys if it were happen to be an easy cook rice here in the uk i find out that this easy cook rice it take a long time to cook okay i might be explaining that later on but for the purpose i'm carrying on with this basmati rice let me go back to it okay okay this is the basmati rice guys okay this is the purpose why we're adding this to you see now we're adding this to we keep later on if you add water at this stage you will lost like the lose the taste of your jollof rice that's why you need to cook your stew proper you'll be adding the stew stage by stage you'll be eyeball it okay guys you can see i'm gonna be adding salt again here in the uk you need to add a lot of salt like before you can get the taste of your cooking okay now this is the right time to add the butter so i'm just adding the butter okay guys if we are happy to be like depend on the demand of those jollof rice okay as you can see, this is the outcome of the jollof rice. If you want to add onions or gizzard or carrot, this is the right time to add it. But the demand of this jollof rice, I'm just cooking this recipe. This is the basic recipe, okay? So this is how you want it. So I didn't add the onions, neither to add the gizzard or the carrots or green beans, okay, guys? If you want to add it, this is the right time to add it before five minutes dropping it, okay? I did add uh, any fan paper to cover it. You can see the jollof rice is big bond. It's bond on the down. You can see it. I'm trying to show you. Can you see that? So that's fine. You have your party jollof rice. Okay, guys. So I didn't even add fame to cover it. You still end up having a party jollof rice. Then back in Africa, when my mom is a caterer, we don't used to add that. Okay, guys. So just use a normal pot to cook it. As you can see, it's very scanty. It's so yummy. And it came up very fluffy with the color, the kind of redness you want from jollof rice. No using parika pepper colored stuff to cook jollof rice. No, use the rice, fresh or chili pepper, 
the belly pepper and the romano red pepper you're gonna have a perfect jollof rice guys okay guys this is the outcome of a jollof rice okay please turn on your notification button subscribe whenever i upload a new video so you can be notified